On 22nd November 2023, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma had inaugurated the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific's Sub-Regional Capacity Building Workshop for Bangladesh, Bhutan, India and Nepal. The event, held at the Taj Vivanta Shillong, featured the Chief Minister who emphasized on the significance of connecting India's Northeast region with East Asian and Southeastern Asian countries. He highlighted the historical trade ties and the immense potential for economic growth through collective efforts. Uh, factors and one of the most important agendas that uh, I have been trying to push for the last six years since I took over as Chief Minister and uh, in fact, in my first year itself of uh, taking over as Chief Minister in 2018, in my first visit to the Honorable Prime Minister, I had brought this agenda as one of the key agendas for us to be able to take Meghalaya and the Northeast and the region as a whole forward. Now, there are multiple reasons for that. First of all, we know the historic data that is there. And the historic data suggests that there is a lot, there was a lot of trade that used to take place between the, the regions and the countries, you know, way before independence and all of that. And hence, something changed after the independence. And therefore, barriers started coming in. And hence, the, the clear indication, historical indication is that there is huge opportunity, but something is going wrong. Somewhere things are not correct, and we need to fix it. So that is how this whole thought process started. Second, most important is that we have an agenda for our state. And the agenda for our state is that we want to double our economy, which is what Honorable Prime Minister has been focusing on. And we as a state, if all the states work towards it, we will achieve the national goal that we have. And hence, Meghalaya wants to also do its part to contribute to that. And hence, we looked at the trade. And you'll be surprised to know that the trade in terms of the quantity uh, in terms of the value, I'm sorry, that we have is uh, with Bangladesh is 0 0.01 million dollars. Now, obviously, that is completely incorrect. That means Megalas exports to Bangladesh is 0 0.01 million dollars. That's what the records show. So, therefore, there is clearly, as I said, an issue, and uh, you know, we need to resolve things. We need to increase those numbers, and if we increase those numbers or even rectify it, I want to also stress on this that we rectify these numbers and we will see our uh, numbers go up. So that's number two. Number three, I've been stressing again and again and again, and uh, I can see that Professor Lama is out here, is a dear friend of mine, and uh, we've been always talking about this agenda, and he has been somebody who's been very much involved in the documentation of the Act East policy. And I have been advocating this from the beginning that we cannot have a generic Act East policy. Act East policy has to be zone wise. There is no Act East policy for Meghalaya or rather there is limited Act East policy for Meghalaya and say Myanmar. There is maybe in the long run in some way or the other. But for Meghalaya it's definitely Act South. So therefore how do we go about creating these economic zones where States like West Bengal, Assam and Meghalaya work in Zone 1 for the Act East, which is with Bangladesh. Tripura and Mizoram and Bangladesh again work together in Zone 3 uh, for, with Bangladesh again. And uh, say Zone 2 would be again Meghalaya and say Barak Valley. So we need to have specific zone-wise strategies to be able to take the Act East policy forward. So that's really you know, the, the beginning of all that we were trying to do. And this is the background of how we started moving in this direction. The Director of South and Southwest Asia Sub-Regional Office, Mikiko Tanaka, commended Meghalaya's strategic location in BBIN and its proactive role in advancing trade and development, making it an ideal host for the workshop aimed at enhancing cross-border connectivity in the Asia-Pacific region.